Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Obnixilis for everyone. What is going on, everybody? And welcome to a very special uh, standard gameplay for today. First and foremost, I need to credit the creator of the deck, uh, good friend and fellow content creator, MTG Malone. Malone, thank you so much, my man. Uh, I loved watching your video on this one. It was an absolute blast. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know what this is, uh, this is potentially one of the jankier decks <laughs> uh, that is trying to make as many copies as possible of Obnixilis. Uh, which is a really interesting concept. Um, Malone, if you go watch his video on it, which again, I'll link his Aether Hub uh, link to the deck so you can actually go check out that video as well. He links that in there. Um, you can kind of see, uh, he mentions that a lot of people try to do this in very different ways. This is up there, uh, is one of the weird ones, <laughs> uh, I would say, but it's really aspirational and really fun and we're gonna try and make it happen today. Uh, so the idea is to get uh, Lexior down, attached to the copy, not the original, but the copy of Obnixilis creating a creature. Then, uh, with Rabble Rousing down, you're meant to attack in and play Mystic Reflection, choosing the Obnixilis that is a non-legendary creature. <laughs> does, that, does, that, does that make sense? <laughs> so the idea is when you do that, uh, with Rabble Rousing, you are going to create uh, as many Obnixilis tokens, Planeswalker tokens, uh, as you have attacking creatures. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> so, uh, we've got a lot of interesting stuff in the deck to help us get there. So, some obvious things. We've got Doomscar, we've got Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, Sunset Ravelry, or Revelry, excuse me, is a really good addition because it kind of does everything you want if you get behind. Uh, we do have Shambling Gast with the Deadly Dispute. We have March, which is going to gain us some life, but also deal with some stuff. And then Big Score is in here to hopefully draw us further into the deck, give us treasure tokens here. Uh, and then, of course, the Wandering Emperor as well, which is just a really good card for the deck. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. Uh, it plays out like a relatively good control deck, uh, but I have not gotten it to work yet, and I've played two or three games, just trying to see if I can do it. Uh, so just as yesterday we lost five games in a row, uh, I'm not thinking we're gonna lose maybe as many, but we are gonna potentially completely fail at this. But we'll try and hopefully have a good time. So again, <laughs> MTG Malone, thank you so much, my man. I really do appreciate you. Uh, we, I love your content, as you know. Uh, and guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, this is gonna be a blast. <laughs> Let's, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, how do we feel about this hand? Honestly, not that great, um, but I think I'll try it. Uh, I don't love it because we don't have the double black here. Okay, now we do. Feel a little better now, um, but without that double black, this is basically unplayable. We do have the Wandering Emperor to get to, which is kind of nice, uh, so I'm, I'm happy to see that. We'll just double play out these Xander's lounges. Looks like probably going to be a, uh, a bit of a, um, interesting, a control style deck. Uh, obviously don't love that, but let's go ahead and play the Shambling Gas, and we'll just pass. Pretty straightforward. Um, kind of curious to see double skull board Martin. Okay, sick. Um, sure. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do, I am gonna take the block. Let's make sure we're in full control just to be safe. Uh, and then let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and sacrifice this. We are just gonna create a treasure token. Uh, I'm not gonna overly think about this. I think this is just probably the best bet. Uh, so we can jump out of full control now. There's the Obnixilis. We've got the Rabble Rousing. We just don't have the uh, Luxior. Luxior? Luxio? Whatever. Uh, that card. <laughs> All right. Um, do we take the opportunity to just play the Rabble Rousing? Uh, it's certainly not an unreasonable call. Alternatively, we could go here. I don't really know what we would want to discard, though. Um, I think I'm just going to go this route. We're not under a whole lot of pressure at the moment, uh, so I'm not necessarily concerned about that. Uh, but I do want to make sure that, you know, our game plan is kind of piecing itself together. Oh, interesting. Uh, ooh, I guess we'll just do this. 
Um, Luxior is the card we need, but we're not, like, we kind of need it before the Rabble Rousing. Not before, but, like, with the Rabble Rousing, not, uh, oh no! Alright, well, that really sucks. Uh, fair enough. Uh, kind of not super unexpected that they had that, that's fine. Uh, they did not have a land, though. Hmm. Fascinating. Um... Okay, so do we just go for it again, or do we meat hook for four just to get rid of their board? Um, it's not a terrible idea. Alternatively, we could just throw this out. I'm just going to go for this again. They, We know they're not going to have another uh, Invoke Despair this turn. Oh no, there's all of them. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I think that was all of our... <laughs> That's not good. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> I think they're all on the bottom of the deck now. Um, well, <laughs> let's see what happens. Um, I'm glad I've waited then on the Meat Hook Massacre for these creatures to come into play, because this just means we're going to get a lot more value out of it. Um, I think we probably go ahead and play it now. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. We do have to burn our treasure token to do this, but I think it's probably worth it just to get a nice little, what, one, two, three, four, five for one? Is that correct? Um... They do get a treasure token out of the deal, but we actually gain some of that life back as well, which is nice. Um, all right. Opponent did manage to find a land. They could certainly have another invoke. Um, however, we do have the Meat Hook Massacre to sacrifice instead, if need be, which isn't actually all that bad. Um, another black source is good. Okay. Um, I'm wondering... No, we can't do that, can we? Okay. Uh, let's do this. Do get to draw a card, which is nice. Let's do this. Uh, we will casualty this out. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, cool. Yeah, alright. So, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, see if they discard anything here. Um, alright, they're just gonna take the damage, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. It's fine. Or discards a permanent. Okay. This is gonna be a little tricky, for sure. Don't love this, but we're gonna do the best we can. Is that Menace as well? Yeah, it totally does. Alright. I think if they attack, we just take it. Um, I think we need the creatures on the field. So we can start activating the Rabble Rousing. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, well that's absolutely terrible. Um, but, that's fine. Let's deal the damage here. Uh, these now basically just mitigate each other. Alright, uh, so they are going to take out the token, that's fair. Um, but we do now have at least a bit of an answer, so let's do this. I am going to make sure we exile Turgrid right away. Um, just not something I'm, I'm, I find worth leaving on the field, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, and we will go ahead and foretell one of these Mystic Reflections. So at the very least, one, they can't make us discard it, which is good. But two, uh, we might be able to activate this with some of our... Oh no! Okay. Don't love that. Uh, thankfully, we did get rid of the Turgrid by exiling, so they're not going to get that. Um, but we are definitely behind. Um, sure. Very good. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and big score. I'm just gonna discard one of these Mystic Reflections, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I mean, we kind of just have to, <laughs> have to keep digging here. Um, Shambling Ghast we can play. Uh, I think it's just the Rafine's Tower. I'm actually going to hold on to this, um, just in case. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Man, what, uh, interesting. Malone, you really did a number on this deck, man. It's so sick. Um, <laughs> alright. Let's see what they decide to do. They are going to attack. Uh, am I okay with this? Yeah, kind of. I'm going to do this, um, and we're going to kill the Jadar. 
Uh, I think that's better for us, because that's like a, I mean, that's a big problem card long term. So this goes away. They don't have, I mean, they might have a backup Jadar, I suppose, but at least that's kind of taking their turn. Um, we've got all the lands in the world, so at this point we really just need, like, some action stuff, and that's not it. Uh, well, <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Let the losing streak begin. Oh, man. Um, okay. I think we take the meat hook. Just because the rabble rousing is like our one way of getting back into this game somehow. Yep. Uh, so they do get a free couple damage in. One thing I will say, and again, to Malone's credit here, guys, um, he did a really good job of putting this deck together in a way that, uh, does utilize, like, life gain quite a bit. I mean, you look at what we're doing here, and, I mean, we've, we've got a good bit of life still, and especially considering the fact that we've, you know, been kind of on the back foot for at least part of this game. Uh, so that's, I think, definitely worth noting. Um, I think we'll do this. I don't love it. Um, I'm sure they'll have a, uh, an answer or something for us here. All right, let's see what they do. Um, not super optimistic as always, but it's fine. Uh, we could save the Obnix list though, if, uh, given certain circumstances. We'll see. One thing to note, we can Mystic Reflection on, like, one of these little guys or something. Okay. Yep. Uh, I assume they both just attack Obnixilis. Yeah. Alright, so what we get to do is block here. Sacrificing this. I'm gonna deal the one damage here to save the Obnixilis, and that should work yeah i know um all right um yep that damage doesn't go through so we do get to keep the obnixilis um and there's the other two spiders okay smart of them to do that post combat by the way uh that's always a bit of a uh, a tricky one um I mean, we definitely plus up. There's not really a better option there. I think we're probably gonna die. <laughs> uh, okay. Just gonna throw shambling gas out there. Uh, and yeah, we'll play another rabble rousing. Why not? Um, I think it's actually that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we've got all the mana in the world. I guess we should have foretold that, but I, doesn't, I don't think it really matters. <laughs> Um, I'd actually rather not, maybe, because of big score, so I might actually want to hold on to it, just so I've got a discard fodder piece. You have to think, too, we're down to, like, 27 cards in the deck, so we're down by over half, uh, at this point. And it's still 15 to 18. Control deck matchups, man, look at this. Um, I guess ours is more combo control, but still, just absolutely hilarious. Yep. Okay. Sure thing. Um, honestly, a little surprised they didn't just sack one of these spiders to get a little further that way, but that's fine. Okay. Um, sacrifice you. Sacrifice this one. I don't think it matters too much. And there goes the Obnixilis. We'll kill one of these uh, just to save ourselves as much damage as we can. Um, all right. Yep. Oh man, uh, we'll see what the next card is. I'm we put all of our Luxiors at the bottom, <laughs> and so that was not intentional, but you know it is what it is. <clears throat> okay, I'm just not gonna block. Uh, just maybe we can activate the rabble rousing. <laughs> maybe it's a big maybe, but oh, of course. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yep. I mean... 
Oh, Malone. I feel like I'm letting you down, man. All right, cool. I'm gonna get two more spiders. Excellent. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I I think I think we're just gonna concede only because I want to get a second game in here, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into a second game. Let's see what we can do. Check out this month's Patreon rewards celebrating our return to Dominaria. If you want to pick these up, feel free to visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Let's see what we can make happen here. Uh, I was hoping, like I said, for a little bit of a better first game, but it's OK. Uh, we we got this. Uh, let's go ahead and throw Rafine's Tower down, uh, both of which will allow us to play that Shambling Ghast, excuse me, and give us the black for both March and the Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, and so this actually is a reasonable uh, start for us, I believe. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and throw Xander's Lounge out, and we'll just throw the Shambling Gas down. Uh, again, not necessarily trying to do too much crazy stuff in the early turns of the game here, but uh, we are going to open up the opportunity for this Doom Scar later on, which is great. Um, okay. Uh, I do think we actually just go for the Doom Scar here, uh, and the question actually now is do we go for the Shambling Gas? I'm gonna say yes, um, and I actually will attack in. If they wanna, if they wanna block, we can happily take this out. Um, awesome. All right. Cool. Uh, so I am expecting some kind of reasonably large play uh, that's you know gonna be kind of a board hit, uh, as in just a really powerful creature or something along those lines. Instead, it's an old priest. Okay. Well, that's not that that's, uh, exciting, to be honest. I was going to say, please attack in, by all means. Um, interesting. Okay, uh, well, I mean, we've got options, but I actually think the safest option might just be to meat hook for two. Uh, actually, even before we attack. Um, so the reason being... Uh, they could easily block and then we wouldn't actually gain any kind of life or anything from this or you know whatever so i actually feel like this might be just the best option uh let's create some tokens so now we're well set up for whatever kind of turn the opponent wants to throw at us chances are they're not gonna just like immediately get in for a ton of damage given they've only got three mana so maybe yeah all right sick uh perfect yeah let's do this um, the question is, do we want to foretell this Doom Scar? I'm actually going to say no. Uh, the reason being, I want to leave up the March. So if they've only got one big play, uh, I'd like to be able to activate this at instant speed and not have to burn as many treasure tokens, if that makes sense. Uh, whereas the Doom Scar, like foretelling the Doom Scar, ties up two of our mana, so we could only march for two and we have to burn all of our treasure. We've already got a Doom Scar foretold, we can wait on the other. Uh, and so I'm not really all that concerned about it. All right, excellent. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and hit him for two. Uh, before it attacks, just so we don't really have to worry about any of that, and we're gonna gain a lot more life out of the deal. Uh, we'll jump out of full control mode, okay. Land is less ideal. Uh, with that in mind, we will go ahead and foretell and Oops, I meant to attack, but that's fine. Okay, <laughs> that was definitely an accident. Uh, just hit enter, but that's okay. All right, they hit us for one. They get a land down. Uh, they can't really activate the hive, so that's fine. Interesting. Okay, Grizzly Sigil. Yep, just get another treasure token. It's fine. Uh, would love just an action spell. Yeah, another reason not to foretell the other Doom Scar would have been to be able to big score this turn, but it's okay. Uh, let's see what they want to do. They could certainly just hive and attack in, which is perfectly reasonable. I'm not anticipating they've got a lot in their hand at the moment, um, given they sigiled and then used this little guy last turn. So, yep. Uh, this really doesn't bother me all that much. Uh, certainly don't love losing cards off in the graveyard, but in general, it's not really that important for this deck in particular. Uh, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and foretell this. Um, I'm actually going to hold up 
the blight steel pathway so again let's learn from our mistake um big score is in the deck we need a card to discard to it um but we also do need that uh mystic reflection at some point so we'll we'll go this route okay um sure all right uh nothing too crazy we're just taking two uh we're gonna basically one for one most likely on this they took three for this oh okay uh yeah this is actually perfectly fine uh yeah resolve all that's cool um so they're gonna be able to get a little devil token out which is fine um and then plus up uh which will decline not stressed about life total quite yet we'll certainly get there i'm sure at some point but we're not there yet um all right i am gonna just preemptively cycle this because we kind of need to Ugh. all right um not good <laughs> this is gonna be a kill a devil token uh and that's it um but we do kind of have to push the envelope here as best we can this one's at three Ugh. yeah uh, so this gets to be indestructible now until the end of the turn, and it gets a counter. Maybe we shouldn't have Doomscarred, but I feel like we kind of needed to. All right. Well, not doing so great, guys. We're kind of burning out here, um, and we got basically only one of the combo pieces. So at this point, we're really just not looking so good. Um, we're going to decline. Uh, again, I'm, I know I should, or I could discard this, but until we need to discard it, I'm not planning to. Uh, the only reason being, if we get a big score, we need to be able to draw, but I'm expecting this isn't going to work. Um, what we might do, and I don't normally do this, but what we might do is just bot match to see if we can actually make it happen. I kind of want to know. I'm just curious. Um... I will say, go watch uh, MTG Malone's video, because he, I believe, yeah, it was really cool. Alright, Deadly Disputes, so we can sack one of these. To at least draw. There's a big score. Kind of late, to be honest. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's one of the pieces we need. Um, I mean, we're, we're just dead. <laughs> oh man. All right. Uh, I'll see if we might bot match it. If I can get it to work really quick, I may include that, but otherwise let's go ahead and jump into the wrap up. All right, guys, again, I don't know if I am for sure going to include this, but I am going to record it and Hey, if we get it included, we will. Uh, I do want to just see. Uh, if we can get it to work. That's really all this is. So uh, we'll, we'll talk through it. We'll have some fun. Um, we do actually have a couple of the pieces already. Uh, so that's certainly good. Um, and bot matching in case, you know, you're for whatever reason not aware is just like way easier. So uh, I'm actually going to just go ahead and do this. Um, this has double strikes, so it's not worth attacking in. Go ahead and do this. Uh, I do bot match decks uh, a reasonable amount. I think it's actually kind of a good way to just test out to see if the, the capability of the deck is even there. Um, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, and I think obviously it's not going to give you a very reasonable outlook on the true meta by any means, um, but it is just a nice way to, to test stuff out and see where we can go with it, so uh, I do like that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and foretell this, and we'll just pass. Uh, you don't have to put as much thought <laughs> into bot matching, clearly. Uh, very nice. Alright. Uh, so truthfully, all we really have to do is get a good Doomscar off here, and we'll be fine. Uh, I am actually just letting this hit so we can sacrifice there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. That's fine. Uh, we'll create a treasure. Get a couple extras. Ooh, there's the rabble rousing. That's very good. Um, do we? Yeah, we'll just doom scar now. Whoops. Um, cool. Pretty easy. Just get a bunch of stuff off the field. Uh, the meat hook massacre should be able to clean up anything else they have. All right, sick. They didn't even have anything. Um, 
Let's go ahead and drop the rabble rousing. Um, I love the reactions. Uh, let's let's get another rabble rousing. Maybe that sounds fun. Um, <laughs> one thing to note: we do need to have a creature uh, to sacrifice here, um, so we're not actually there yet. Um, yeah, actually, I am gonna go ahead and big score. Uh, cool. We at least got some lands. So that's helpful. Do this. Uh, we could go for this, but I don't actually think we need to yet, right? Yeah, we can just wait. Uh, we do need to get another creature out so we can casualty this so we do have the token that can be attached with the Lexior. So we're going to take four here. That's fine. Don't really care. Okay. Um, I guess we can do this first. And then, yeah, that basically equates to the same. I'm just going to discard the lands. Excellent. Ooh. Might even be better. Um... Or, uh, technically, I guess that kind of is better. Let's do this. Um, submit zero. Hit him. Uh, I'm just doing it now because, again, it's a bot match. I don't really care. <laughs> um, and I think, I, uh, no, we'll, we'll skip that. I was going to say we could cycle that. We've got plenty of mana, really, at this point. But uh, I think we'll wait just to be safe. All right, now we will cycle it. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's the trick, guys. Um, like I said, we, we actually need a creature on the field for this to work. Um, I guess we could just do this just to get that down and then plan on using another Obnixilis later. This might be a bad play, but it's fine. All right. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna kill it. Um, not really all that worried about it. Cool. Alright, uh, we will equip up Obnixilis. We will plus up. Excellent. Uh, we'll do this, and we'll get an attack in just to get the rabble rousing going, I suppose. Um... All right, cool. We may not actually get it. Nah, I mean, we should be able to get this to happen. Oh. Um, so it has to be non-legendary. That's why this doesn't work, for the record. Um, oh, we should have. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll just attack with these three. We should have plussed up first, but it's fine. Okay. Excellent. just means we get to kill this guy um all right plus up cool uh i guess we'll foretell this might as well uh yep here we go um so i guess at this point we just need obnixilis right it's literally the only thing we need um we'll do this we'll do this So we are going to go ahead and attack in and cast the other Rabble Rousing. <laughs> uh, cool. Seriously. Uh, alright, well we'll just take that. <laughs> so at least we've got a lot of potential damage coming through. Alright, cool. Um, I just want to get as many Omnixilis tokens as we can get. Um, really? Okay. Um... We're just gonna take it. Uh, we'll probably only attack with one creature this turn just to give ourselves that time. Yep. Uh, Alright, sick. Let's discard you. Give me. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's cycle. Come on. Yes! Haha! -ha! That's actually really sick. Okay, cool. Um. Yes, definitely. Casualty, yes. All right, <laughs> guys, <laughs> we're gonna do it. Um, I guess it doesn't matter which we keep, right? Uh, we'll just 
keep this one. I, I don't think it really matters. Uh, we'll equip this up here. And just, just to be a little safe, uh, we're gonna do that and we'll do this. Um, cool. All right, guys, next turn. <laughs> if they have a way of killing on next list, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, they don't, sick. Uh, does this have lifelink? No, it's literally just a cat. All right, that's fine. Um, I'll block with one guy just to, I mean, I really don't think it matters, but okay. All right. We're gonna <laughs> Mystic Reflection on this. We're gonna attack. Yes! <laughs> it didn't matter in the end, but you know, I just wanted to see if we could do it. That was worth it. All right, let's talk about this. All right, guys, so like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna include the bot match. I did record one. We may just get a snippet of it, uh, just to kind of keep it short and sweet. But uh, the deck is really fun. Unfortunately, it didn't really work for us. Uh, Malone, I know, did say in his video when he was kind of talking through the deck that he he made it to be a little silly. Uh, and so, Malone, I don't want to speak for you, but I think you definitely accomplished that goal. Uh, it's a blast to play. It's a really silly deck, and I love decks like this that have a super aspirational piece to it. Like, you're trying to do something that's really silly, really over the top. Um, I think you take a risk. You're not going to make that work most of the time. Hence, yesterday's gameplay, we were trying to do Dance of the Mans. Uh, but I will say it's still an absolute blast to do this, and I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we didn't win, but that's okay. I think that's that's not always the biggest part of playing Magic, at least in my opinion. Uh, so guys, thank you so much for watching. MTG Malone, thank you, my man. I really do appreciate you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for a collection update video. So do stay tuned for that. Thank you guys again.